Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, we've got some snow falling in Colorado coming down here at Aspen Mountain, also up the road at uh, Snowmass. So this storm system starting to develop. Um, this Panhandle Hooker storm system across Colorado. Go to radar. You can already start to see the rotation where that spin around a developing area of low pressure um, is happening, and it's going to set up around the panhandles of, o of Oklahoma and Texas overnight tonight into tomorrow. Tomorrow is really the prime day when everything comes together. You can see that band of precip kind of wrapping up over the eastern plains of Colorado, and eventually that's going to get steered and directed towards Denver and the Front Range where we're going to have an enhancement of the upslope uh, winds there across Denver, the foothills, and the Continental Divide, and that comes into a play. comes into play mainly tomorrow where we're going to get all that precip with this storm system, and it will benefit the mountains in southern Colorado as well, just like it is right now. Let me take you to Utah. We've still got some snow left over tonight and early tomorrow morning, looking for another at least a few inches of accumulation up there um, in the Wasatch, but uh, that's radar right now. Let me give you the, uh, the lay of the land here. This is water vapor. So this is the big storm, and it's up here, but it's already kicked some energy down into this, uh, into this area where that panhandle hook storm system is going to be developing tonight. Uh, into tomorrow. So it's it's giving some energy up for that. You can see there's another area of low pressure right here. What's going to happen is both of these storms are actually going to merge. This low will break loose and eventually come down here and merge and become a very strong California storm system that will entrain moderate to strong intensity atmospheric river moisture. That's the way it looks right now. And there's another storm even behind that which may turn into our northern tier storm, storm number three. Let me take you back and show you what I'm thinking here this afternoon as far as uh, bullet points. So storm number one continues, like I said, uh, for probably the next couple of days. Uh, snow will transition into Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, um, but it will continue across the Intermountain West. Um, then we're going to look at this Colorado Panhandle hooker storm system, and I just talked about it. That's going to happen tomorrow. The main time frame for that is tomorrow in Colorado, and then it departs pretty quickly on 2-4 Sunday. Storm number two, like I said, will probably be the merger of two different areas of low pressure, 2-5 through 2-9, and some of the biggest impacts will hit California on 2-4 and 2-5 and then it will turn into an intermountain uh, rocky uh, snowstorm. Storm number three may just primarily hit the northern tier estates. I talked about that this morning. There's been a little bit of a change to the jet in this afternoon's data. Um, so some of that snow may get steered down closer to Utah and Colorado, 210 and 211. I'll show you that. Uh, but big grand totals, none of that has changed in this, this update. Measured in feet, uh, Sierra, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you the... Um, the latest integrated vapor transport or what we're looking at here is the atmospheric river component so this is for that south central california coast 35 north 120 and a half west and you can see the surge coming uh, on 24 and 25 um, into that area right along the coast we're looking at a moderate to strong intensity atmospheric river surge and that's what you're seeing here we could see six months worth of rain in los angeles out of this thing in feet of snow in the sierra at higher elevations. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the current state of affairs. Snowing in Colorado, snowing in the Wasatch, and the Tetons, Idaho as well. Here's 2, 3 in the morning. That's when the low spins up around the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma, and it's going to throw that moisture back over the top of uh, Denver in the front range. There's 2, 3 in the afternoon. A lot of it's going to be rain for Denver especially in the morning. And then it will go to a mix in the afternoon and probably over to all snow for a period of time in the evening and nighttime hours on Saturday for Denver. It's going to be all snow, though, above 6,000 feet of elevation. So foothills, continental divide, I mean, you're looking at all snow out of this. And that's going to benefit the entire continental divide all the way down through southern Colorado. And look at that belt of, high, of, of heavy snow up into Wyoming, Big Sky, Montana, and Idaho as well, benefiting from this from this panhandle hook storm system. All right, then it breaks up pretty quickly on 2-4. Now we shift. Here comes storm number two out of California, which will get nailed. And then here it comes into the interior. Here's 2-7 in the morning. Heavy snow Tetons, parts of Big Sky, the Wasatch moving into Colorado. There's 2-7 in the afternoon. And there it is on 2-8, snowing hard in parts of Colorado. And then it exits after that. So 2-9, here comes that storm number three through the northern tier of states and you can see what it does. Some of that gets directed down into Utah and also Colorado in the central and northern mountains. 29, 210, 211. Alright, let me just show you what the jet looks like here this afternoon. 
So no real changes here. This is 2-7. This will be the second storm system coming out of, you can see the deep trough coming out of California, moving into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, and New Mexico. So by 2-11, a little bit of a shift. Now we're looking at more of a north-northwest flow on that jet on 2-11. So that's going to steer some of that moisture down through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado during that time frame. But still quite a bit up in the northern tier. New grand total map this afternoon. So the rest of today through 2-9, this captures essentially uh, the next two storm systems. Um, still looking at 40 inches plus to go up there in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Another, uh, we've got roughly two feet on the board there for uh, Park City, thinking probably the same for Snow Basin and Deer Valley. In Colorado, western and southwest Colorado gets the most. The numbers you see up on the Continental Divide, and I'll show them to you in time here um, in the timeline maps, but those mainly occur with this with this first storm system, the Panhandle Hook storm system that develops, that's going to push a lot of that accumulation up to the Continental Divide, and that's how we're going to get a foot of snow up there. Less accumulation with the second storm on the Continental Divide. But look at the big numbers yet to go in California. Uh, huge numbers for the Tetons, potentially 30 to 40 inches by 2.9, and about a foot in Idaho and Montana. Um, let's take a look at uh, BC. So interior BC, Kicking Horse, Revelstoke, Fernie, just through 2.9, looking at potentially 8 to 12 inches of accumulation. And then we'll probably get more on top of that um, with that, uh, that, that northern tier storm. I'll show you that in a second. Let me zoom in to Colorado. So 2-2 two, two through 2-9, two, you can see the I-70 corridor. Again, that snow you see in Summit County up on the Continental Divide is mainly from this Panhandle hook storm on 2-3. Everything west of there, that couple of feet, we're going to get nice equal distribution from Storm 1 and Storm 2. Um, let me take you west, looking at 19 to 22 inches as a grand total through 2-9 there for Aspen and Stomass. Uh, Aspen Highlands, a little bit less there through the collegiates, mainly uh, 8 to 12 inches. That'll probably do it. Crested Butte, about 20 inches, 21 inches. Okay, let me show you the snowfall in time. So by period, rest of today through 2-4, you can see the numbers in Colorado. A little bit less in Crested Butte with this type of wind direction. A little bit more, though, as you go into the West Oaks on the north uh, northeast side towards Snowmass and Aspen and those areas. And again, about a foot up there on the Continental Divide with this, uh, this Panhandle Hook Storm. Uh, 8 to 12 for the Tetons, maybe another 3 to 5. And again, that mainly happens this afternoon, tonight, and into tomorrow morning for the Wasatch. So maybe maybe another three to five. And big time snow in California. A lot of what you see happens there on 2-4 with that next storm system coming in. Here's the second period, 2-5 through 2-9. This is going to be a big period. That storm comes out of California and distributes potentially three feet in Little Cottonwood Canyon, close to that potentially in Big Cottonwood Canyon, in the Wasatch. Two feet solid for the Tetons, and in Colorado, you can see what I'm talking about. Pretty low numbers with this storm, um, this 2.5 to 2.9 period, right on top of the Continental Divide in Summit County, but more as you go west and southwest Colorado. Um, let's take a look at um, let's take a look at that third storm. So this is 210 through 211. So another potentially two to six inches for interior BC, Fernie to Kicking Horse, and Revelstoke. And you can see what happens with the bending of that jet. Some of that snow gets distributed further south now through Utah and also the central to northern mountains of Colorado. One last stop, a very dry northeast forecast through 29. I really don't have much of anything. So guys, we'll end on the grand total map here. And again, we still have a lot of snow yet to go with this. Uh, big time accumulations, anywhere in purples a foot or more. And that's a lot of places. All right, have a fun weekend. Be safe out there and take care.